Thousands of RVs will visit North Dakota parks this weekend, but it's safe to say only one camper will be pulling a teardrop trailer. What's a teardrop tra camper, you ask? Cliff Naylor traveled off the beaten path to size up this miniature mobile home. When Mary and Myron Fetch go camping, they pack light, very light. But the couple still enjoys most of the conveniences of home thanks to their tiny uh, teardrop it's, camper. It's, you sleep here? Head up here? It's basically just a sleeping compartment, so you don't really spend a lot of time inside of it. You hope it doesn't rain, the weather's decent, you can spend your time outside. The back of the camper opens up into a kitchen. I've got an ice box where I've got right now some milk and some wine and a salad that I'm going to put together later. And it's kept cold, actually by ice. A propane-powered stove is also utensils. built into the kitchen, along with a little storage space. I'm also very proud that I have running water. This is, this is cool. Now, I only have six gallons of water. Well, that's okay. My holding tank is only one gallon. It teaches you to be very, very conservative. This miniature mobile home is only eight feet long and four feet wide. It weighs about a thousand pounds. The nice thing about these is they're towable behind a car. Uh, we can tow this with our, our uh, four-cylinder Chevy Malibu. Myron and Mary spent a year building this camper themselves. It's similar to teardrop campers that were commercially sold in the 1920s. Everywhere we go, we stop at a rest stop, you stop for gas, you stop to eat, anywhere you go. It's, people stop you, they want to look at it, they're really amazed by it. The biggest question we always get is, where did you get it? And we didn't get it anywhere. I was telling them, we built it. They say, no way, you didn't build that. The Fetches know there are many other ways to camp, but they have found that smaller is better when it comes to enjoying the great outdoors. I'm Cliff Naylor reporting for NBC yeah. North Dakota News. Mary and Myron are such hardcore campers, they've even slept in their teardrop during the winter. They say with an electric blanket, it's comfortable inside the 45-inch wide camper.